Tied on a heavyweight wet fly hook, the black flexi buzzer is a great early season buzzer pattern, sinking quickly to the trout's feeding zone. Right, the first step then is to run the tying thread on just behind the eye, locking the loose end in place with a few thread turns. Keeping the loose end of the thread at an angle helps ensure that the thread turns are kept close together. So with uh, a third of the shank covered, trim off the loose end of the thread. The body comprises a length of black lycra strand, something like flexi floss or span flex will do. So offer the strand up to the hook and lock the end in place uh, with a few tight thread turns. Then stretch the flexi floss uh, so that the diameter is reduced and lock it along the shank with close turns of thread. Keep on winding the thread over the flexi floss until it's reached a point just around the curve of the bend. The rib's made up of a strand of fine pearl tinsel, and this can come from a spool or, in this case, from a hank of fine pearl tinsel strands. So remove one of the strands from the hank and then offer it up to the hook, fix it in place with a couple of turns of thread and then draw the loose end of the tinsel through. Then bind the whole thing along the shank with close turns of thread, working back up towards the eye. Keep applying close turns of thread until it reaches the point where the flexi floss was caught in. Then take hold of the flexi floss and stretch it to reduce its diameter considerably. This will help produce the tapered body. Keep winding the flexi floss in touching turns. After about half the shank's been covered, release the tension slightly. This will cause the floss to return to its original diameter so that the front part of the body becomes thicker than the rear, producing the required taper. With the body in place, wind a couple of turns of thread around the lycra strand. This little trick helps lock the loose end of this stretchy material firmly in place. Add further tight turns of thread around the loose end of the floss to lock it in place, but don't trim it off at this stage. Then take hold of the pearl tinsel and carefully wind it over the body in evenly spaced turns, working up towards where the thread is parked. Once the tinsel has reached the thread, lock the loose end in place with two or three turns of the tying thread. Before taking the scissors and trimming off the waist end. The wing buds of this buzzer pattern are suggested by two goose biots that have been dyed sunburst yellow. So remove two from the quill and then with a pair of scissors just trim off the pointed ends. Offer the first goose bite up to the near side of the hook, good side in, and then fix it in place with two or three tight thread turns. Then take the second goose bite and offer it up to the far side of the hook and catch it in place at exactly the same point. A length of medium width red holographic tinsel is used for the thorax cover. So remove a short length from the spool and then offer it up to the hook and catch it in place on top of the thorax. Add further tight turns of thread working towards the eye. With the tying thread now positioned immediately behind the eye, take hold of the loose end of the flexi floss and stretch it and then wind it in close turns to form the first layer of the thorax. Keep winding the floss until it reaches the point where the goose bites and the holographic tinsel were caught in. Then wind the floss back over itself to create a double layer so that it forms a distinct thorax. When the loose end of the flexi floss has reached as far as the eye, take the thread and use it to lock that loose end in place before carefully trimming it off with a pair of scissors. Take hold of the goose bites and uh, one at a time, draw them forward towards the eye and then lock them in place with a couple of turns of thread so that the bites sit either side of the thorax. Then take hold of the red holographic tinsel and draw it over the top of the thorax and lock it in place. Then apply a couple of turns of thread just behind the eye this will prevent the thread being cut when the waist ends of the bites and tinsel are trimmed off. Now use the tying thread to build up a neat but distinct head, covering all the loose ends. 
then cast the thread off with a secure whip finish, drawing it tight, bedding the turns down before trimming off the loose end with scissors. To finish the fly, the final stage is to coat it with clear varnish. This helps protect the tinsel rib, but it also helps the fly sink more quickly. Allow the coat of varnish to set hard before adding two or three further coats to give a glassy finish. And that's it complete, the black flexi buzzer. <laughs>